Wenji here. This week's look is a more dramatic cat eye look. I've got to admit I haven't done a dramatic look like this for a long time so I'm a bit out of practice but I thought I'd just do it anyways and I hope you guys enjoy it. The points of this look is definitely the smoky dramatic eye as well as the contoured face followed by a pinky nude lip. Let's start. I'm going to start off with a primer and this makes your makeup last longer and go on more smoothly and it pretty much feels like a moisturizer and makes your skin feel so nice. Next I'm using a light BB cream, this is the Garnier BB cream and I really like it because it goes on quite lightly and it doesn't cover too much of your face. I'm using this foundation brush to blend it into my skin using dabbing motions. Just keep working at it till you've blended it all in. Next I'm taking a brightening CC cream and applying it to my forehead, bridge of nose, chin as well as the top of my cheekbones to really bring out these areas and give you a more 3D look with your face. Cover up the rest of your imperfections with some extra concealer under my eyes, around my nose and on the top of my lips. I'm going to add some extra concealer under my eyes as well. And then use your fingers to really dab 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 until it's all melted in. Start off your eyes with a burgundy eyeliner. I'm applying this all over my lids. This gives a good base for your eyeshadow to grip onto as well as giving you a tint of color on your eyelids. And apply it in sort of like a moon shape following your lids. Next I'm using this purple glitter base eyeliner and defining the cat line. And I'm gonna start off by creating a line from my corners and then moving down from where you want your cat line to end and then join it from that eyeshadow line you've created to create that nice wing. I'm not very good at creating the shape so I'm using these guides to help me and I'm basically following the curve of my bottom lashes to draw that eye wing as well. And it probably takes a bit of practice to get the perfect angle and the perfect length and you can do it longer or shorter depending on your preference. I'm then adding some extra color onto the crease and then blending it with an eyeshadow brush to blend the purple and burgundy together into a nice base for your eyeshadows. This creates a good guide for me to put on my eyeshadows because otherwise I'm going to be lost. Next I'm using a copper brown color and applying it all over my lids. Just going above that burgundy line that I've created because I want it to show up when I open my eyes. And just blend it in with the rest of the eyeliner. Next I'm using a blending brush and blending the edges out. And I'm also using the blending brush to get rid of the little fallouts on my cheek. Take a black pencil liner that you can smudge. You're going to be smudging this out afterwards so just apply all along the waterline on your lower lashes and extend it up following the cat line. And apply all over your top lids from the inside out. Send it out following the guide that you've created, but not all the way. Next I'm using an angled brush to just blend out the eyeliner, just so it's a soft line and it's kind of blending into all the other colors. This will create a more smoky look with the eyeliner. Do it for the bottom lashes as well and just really blend the eyeliner out. I'm using an angled brush because I find it more precise and I don't actually have a very small eyeshadow brush, so I'll make do with what I have. I'm also using the excess black and blending across to the top of my winged line just to create a dark smolder there. Next I'm using this mineralized skin finish which I'll be using in my face later. And I'm using this color and extending the color up all the way to my eyebrows as a base. And then I'm adding my highlighting color on top and extending it down to the corner of my eye. It's to brighten it. Finally, I'm using a dark brown color and just highlighting the crease and blending it up. And also using that color to further blend the lower lash line as well. Apply falsies and I'm only applying it on the edges of my eyes. This will create a more winged cat eye effect because there'll be more lashes on the edges. And then I'm curling my lashes and then applying mascara to the top and bottom lashes. Next I'm doing my brows with this pencil and I'm really extending the line out and following my natural arch. When you wing your eyes out more, you need to extend your eyebrows more. Finishing off my eyebrows with a brow mascara because I haven't bleached my brows yet still. 
and neaten your brow hair so it sits in place. I thought I could get away without a liquid liner but after looking at the look I definitely needed to add a liquid liner to really define the eyes again because you smudged the previous liner out to create the smoky look. Now onto the face I'm contouring with a bronzer and just apply it in the hollows of your cheeks, sucking your cheeks if you don't know where this is and then applying it on the jawline as well as the edges of the forehead to really make that recede. Next I'm taking a more shimmery bronzer and blending that darker bronze color forward to really make it feel more natural and not so harsh. And then taking a nice pink coral shade like Nars Orgasm and putting it on the apples of my cheeks and blending it back. Because of the dramatic eyes, I'm going for a nude lip and I love this color by MAC and the texture as well and I'm just applying it all over my lips. This is a really nice corally nude that doesn't really take away all the colour from your face but it's subtle enough to wear with a smoky eye. Next I'm taking a luster glass from MAC and adding some shine to my lips. I like to start off from the centre of my lips and then slowly blend the product out. And now we're done! This look is definitely dramatic and I wouldn't wear this every day but for those special occasions when you go out or you feel like adding some drama into your life I think this look is perfect. Don't forget to wear this look with a smile and don't forget to thumb it up if you enjoyed the video. Tell me guys, are you someone that would wear this look every day or only for special occasions? Let me know in the comments box below. Make life beautiful, the wonderful world of Wenji.